Hey everybody, welcome to Ron's Computer Videos. I saw something really cool on Twitter the other day and I thought I would just kind of share it with you guys. Uh, there's a guy from France and his name is Silicon Insider and he is making a whole new series of reproduction uh, Macintosh memory products. Um, his, uh, the first thing that I saw was something that was uh, kind of cool um, and that is uh, VRAM replacement chips for 68K Macintoshes. So if you have a machine that uses um, those 68 pin uh, VRAM chips, either like the 256s or the 512s, he's making a reproduction for both of those. And they're, they're very reasonably priced. Uh, you'd probably have to reach out to him to find out exactly uh, how much they would be in your currency and what the shipping would be to your location. But I will tell you, um, when I compare the price between what Silicon Insider is charging and what Goldman Sachs is charging, uh, it, you can't even compare. Since I'm a sucker for uh, 68K Max, I thought I would go ahead and order some. So I've got some right here. But uh, we'll open this here in just one second. And they're so cool looking. Uh, I, I'm just telling you, you're gonna be really, really impressed. But just for a baseline, let's look. This is a LC3 that only has the stock VRAM. I, I do not have a VRAM SIM installed. This right here is system memory. So no VRAM, just the base memory, which I think is 256K on these models, ah, who knows? It could be 512. I am sure that somebody will let me know in the content or in the comments, but I'll probably put that Apple spec guide thing up here as a, as a little pop up here in a second. But anyway, let's launch JPEG view. As, as it sits right now, this machine is running in 256 colors. And uh, keep in mind, uh, I'm also using a um, SCSI to SD 5.5, so it, it is no speed demon uh, in terms of uh, disk access. So a, uh, a real machine would probably, or a real hard drive would probably be doing much better. But as you can see, or hopefully you can see, uh, right now I'm at 256 colors, which is kind of the base for this machine. Uh, in terms of resolution, I'm running at uh, 640 by 480. So, you know, kind of a standard like VGA monitor kind of setup. So 256 colors, that looks okay. Let's go ahead and bring up JPEG view. And we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll load two images and you can kind of see it before and then after when we put the RAM in. So JPEG view includes this uh, kind of famous picture of parrots. And because I'm at 256 colors, it's gonna to have to downsample this, which will probably take a second because again, this is only a 25 megahertz 030. So as you can see, kind of maybe I turned it a little bit. Yeah, that's probably better. Um, the, it looks really, really dithered. And even with the compression of YouTube, I, I'm sure everybody has seen this image at least once in their lives. Uh, but yeah, it's, it doesn't look too hot. So let's pop out some of those chips and let's take a look at them. Cause again, they're very, very pretty. And then let's go ahead and let's install them. And then we'll go ahead and open this image again. Oh, there's one other image that I wanted to look at, but we'll do that for the second. We'll do that here in a second. So let me go ahead and open that up real fast. JPEG view. This mouse is really giving me a hard time. And this image is a little bit better, or a little bit bigger, and it has to be down, downsized as well, because I think it's 800 by 600, but it's still thousands of colors and millions of colors, and it's being downgraded to 256. So I am sure that everybody has seen uh, this image on my channel at least once before. Whenever you decide to load, Yeah, really need to put a math co in here. I don't know that this would take advantage of it, but you know, just for completion's sake. But anyway, there you go. There's a screenshot from uh, my YouTube channel. All right, let's go ahead. Let's power it down. Let's go ahead and open up the package, get that RAM installed, and check it out. And uh, 
Oh yeah, there's something kind of cool in the box. Oh, look at that. There's uh, something else Silicon Insider does is he posts uh, on his Twitter page, uh, posts these really cool pictures of like the dyes of different CPUs. And off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you which, which one this is, but uh, I am gonna say that uh, it's, this is a very cool little piece of art. So I'm going to put that on the desk here. Okay, so the RAM shipped on a big block of foam. Keep it protected. Let's go and get those off of there. And we end up, we have, I ordered two 512K VRAM modules. And if you look at the back of these, and I will certainly be showing a, a close up of these. So I don't know if you can really see with the plastic on. So let's. get that open and I will tell you what man that is sharp uh, there's some really cool graphics that are here on the back that kind of depict you know, a uh, I'm gonna say some sort of classic Mac um, I especially like this this is a nice touch and I, I remember seeing some other pictures and stuff online I'm gonna show some close-ups here in the uh, on the video as well but underneath these chips, there's, there's some artwork there uh, that you can't even see. Uh, I don't remember exactly what it was. Maybe if you go out and look at Silicon Insider's uh, Twitter page, maybe you can find it. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get this installed. Let's get the machine booted back up. And then let's uh, let's take a look at what uh, how many colors we get. All right, we are back up to the desktop. Let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look at monitor's control panel. And would you looky there, thousands. Um, and it's very possible that the maximum uh, VRAM on the LC3, I think might only be 512K. Um, so again, if you got 256 on the motherboard or you got 512 on the motherboard and you add a 512, uh, it may only give you 256K of access. It's very much like that on like the Quadra 700 and some of those other machines. They'll just, they read half the capacity, but uh, the chip works, and so this is the, probably the best machine I've got to show off right now. So, thousands of colors, that looks great. Okay, let's go ahead and let's launch JPEG view. And I can already tell graphically, maybe things are a little bit zippier now that we've got uh, some auxiliary VRAM in there. Uh, as you notice now, it's just decompressing the JPEG. It's not actually uh, trying to dither it down to 256 colors. And I would say that it looks markedly, markedly better um, versus 256 colors. So I'm thinking the color depth on this is thousands or millions. I don't know. I know for a fact that everything is set very high. Can we get the information on this picture? Maybe not. Uh, show statistics, yeah, maybe. Yeah, this is millions of colors, so this would look even better with additional uh, VRAM or a machine that could support additional VRAM. So let's go ahead and let's open up my other image, which was the ROM's computer video image. Ah, oh, golly. This mouse is gonna be the death of me. Hey, looks great. Very little dithering compared to the compression that was already there uh, just because it's JPEG. So uh, not too bad. I really like it. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, some very cool new VRAM modules uh, from Silicon Insider. Uh, definitely look him up on Twitter and check it out. So anyway, until next time, uh, this has been Ron and Apple II forever.